today we are doing bookmarks. We got a piece of paper. I got pink. Um, if you were if you were here for the bunny, uh, we did bunnies. So we we have our scraps from that. So we are going to use those. And you're going to need something to color with, a piece of paper of some kind. Yes. Uh, something to draw with. with. Whatever it may be. We have crayons. We have some glue sticks. This is black. This is black. Oh, you know, you need to, you need to the door. Oh, uh, yeah. We have to, I have to go and do something. Just so they don't ignore us. So, you will need a piece of paper. You will need something to color with. Um, markers, crayons. If you have scrap paper, that's awesome. You can cut stuff out with the scrap paper and glue it onto your glue stick. And. Yeah. So, we've been reading some books and up with our school work and we are going to need some new bookmarks because our old ones are getting all ratty. So we are going to make some bookmarks, right? Yes, today we are making bookmarks. Here's a bookstick. We're going to get started in about one minute. Right? Yeah. I got my scissors. They're purple and glittery. And glittery. My mom's going to use her orange ones. Chop, chop, chip, chop, choppy. That are very old, very dirty. <laughs> but they work. They work. Alright, so the first step we're going to take is how big of a bookmark do you need? Are you doing a big textbook or are you doing a little book? So we have a little book here. It's bad guys. So we are going to need the bookmark to go this way. So we take our paper. And we fold it and when you make a fold you go to the middle and then you go across so we're going to fold it and then we're going to fold it again because we're going to make a few bookmarks out of this one piece of paper so then you take it and you fold it again good job bud I'm only going to be able to Making yours very skinny. Yeah, so I'm gonna do my stripes. So now we have it folded twice, and then we're gonna do that last fold right here. So you're pretty much folding it in threes. Like when you do uh, three times each in your notebook and so forth. So now we're gonna fold it again. Now I have this a little is extra. Okay. He's gonna cut that no, no, no. You just cut it so that one will be a little bit bigger. Alright, so now that we have all the folds done, we can now. I have, a, I, I have ten. You have a lot to fold. <laughs> so, we're going, this, so we're going to cut right here on this line. So we have one cut. Now you can make as many as you want out of these. Um, Ariana folded hers a little skinnier. These are awesome also to do like if you go outside. Right now it's raining out. And you collect stuff from outside so if you live on the beach you collect shells if you live if you have trees outside you collect all those pretty little leaves and then what you do is you glue them on all over the place and then you take packaging tape and you go over one side and then you go over the other side and you now have a laminated bookmark I don't know if we have packaging tape. my grandma does we do have packaging tape we'll show you how to do that um, hey, so once you have hey. one bookmark and it's cutting out too. But once you have one, we have our one little bookmark, and then you design it. We are going to draw some of the ideas from the book. So in our bad guys book, this is the bad guys. The zombie kitties. There's zombie kitties are trying to take over the world, and the bad guys, the big bad wolf, and the shark, shark, and piranha, and, and snake. And who else? Who's likes? A spider. Legs is the spider. They're all trying to stop the zombie kitties from taking over the world. And it's also, a very funny book. And I would also recommend we, this series if you're into it. If your kid's into it. Who's this? Remember? Oh, and that's the guinea pig. 
He's a very mean guinea, guinea pig. pig. Marmalade is the the guy who's taking over the world. So we're <laughs> gonna design. On a beach. <laughs> we're gonna design our bookmark based on our books. So we're gonna do a bad guy's bookmark. So we're gonna draw a shark and wolf and snake and legs, and we're going to take this book and make it into a bookmark. However, we're not going to do zombie kitties because each book has a different one. I think the first one, he they rescued a kitty out of a tree. Yes. The second one, what was the second one? The second one they did, what did they do in the second one? Weren't they, they saved the chickens, right? Yes, they saved the chickens. The second one was they saved the chickens. That was the funniest um, one. <laughs> and this is the fourth one. The third one um, was a continuation of the second one. And that's where they discovered the zombie kitties. And then this is the fourth one. And now they are trying to save the world from the zombie kitties. So we are going to draw shark. If you can see, there's Mr. Shark. We're going to draw shark and wolf and the spider. And we're going to design our bookmark based on the book. So whatever book you're reading, if you're reading a Dr. Seuss book, you can draw the cat in the hat. Um, if you are reading... Who's another author that we use? Peep Cat. Peep Cat's also fun. You draw Peep Cat. He's really easy to draw. Um, so ours though are going to have a snake and a spider and a shark. So Ariana already started on hers. I do believe she's drawing Mr. Shark. So I'm going to draw Mr. Shark on the bottom. So to draw a shark, just the top of the shark, it's a big oval with a pointy head. So it'll look like that. And then Mr. Shark has two eyes on either side of his head. And they're huge. And they're huge. So we're going to draw his two eyes like that. And he has two little dots inside for his eyeballs. So we're going to just draw two little eyeballs like that. And then we're going to draw his mouth. Now his mouth is an upside down U. With teeth sticking with up. With teeth sticking up. So this is going to be Mr. Shark's mouth. And then Mr. Shark has his tail. Yeah, but we're only drawing the top of Mr. Shark. She's drawing full body Mr. Shark. Now we're gonna draw the snake. So snake is really easy. He just he's, he's kind tail. of like an I don't know what to explain. All right, so we're gonna do a little half upside down U like that, and then we're going to make it kind of look like a triangle. So we're gonna do like a V looking shape like that. All right, now he has two big eyes as well, Mr. Snake, with two little dots in the center of his eyeballs, for his eyes. So you should have <coughs> Mr. Snake's face so far. Now Mr. Snake is usually yelling because he's always getting into trouble. Yes, and he is. So we're going to open up his mouth and put his little fangs inside. Actually, it kind of looks like a nose, but that's Mr. Snake's mouth. <laughs> And then we're going to connect his body. So snakes have little swirly, squiggly bodies. So we're just going to make a big S. And we have to do his tie. Don't forget his tie. Hmm. Their, their ties in the oh. book, how they have their... And then we're going to attach his tail like so. So that's Mr. Snake's body. Now Mr. Snake is a rattlesnake, so we need to make the rattles at the end of his tail, which are just some lines that go across. Like so. Uh, I'm not doing his so tail because he's that. he's uh, he's on the end of the bookmark like this. <laughs> and you drew his tongue out. That's great. Yeah, this right. is his tongue. And now this is his tie. To do scales, um, it's just like scales that we use on the fish when we drew the fish. So they're like little um, M's. So you can turn it however you want. Um, but yeah, make little M's to make his scales. I kind of turned my picture upside down to make the M's for his scales, and now we have scales, so now we have Mr. Snake and Mr. Shark. So next is Mr. Piranha. Now Mr. Piranha has ginormous eyeballs. You do not want to mess with him either. Do not call him a, what do they call him about? A uh, salt flower. No, not that. In the, in the second one, what do they call him? They, they call him a... Uh, Tuna fish. Oh, they call him a tuna. That's right. In the second one, they call him a tuna and not yeah. a piranha, and he is not happy about it. And he's so angry, he just wants to eat them up. <laughs> <laughs> and 
So we have to draw Mr. Piranha's eyeballs first because he has two really big eyeballs. So yes. we're going to draw two big eyeballs first on the page. So two big circles. And then we'll connect like it all with an oval. And he has a very big open mouth. So that's what it should look like so far. He's not so very now, happy, so he's like... Mr. Piranha's top bottom of his mouth is bigger than the top of his mouth. So we're going to draw an upside down U like that. And we have to give him his eyeballs. So we're going to put two little dots inside of his eyes like that. And Mr. Piranha has very big teeth that are sharp and scary. Even though he's not and he's just a big mush ball. Yeah. And there's Mr. Piranha. So now Mr. Piranha has a tail, uh, tail fin, so we're just going to kind of give him what looks like a mohawk. So that's his fin, because he's looking directly at us. Right? So yeah, mine far, so good, but yeah, good. you're drawing all the outfits, too. So <clears throat> I'm going to go back to Mr. Shark. Mr. Shark wears a suit. So to draw this the suit, funniest suit ever. We're going to draw two lines coming down into a V like this, but they're not going to touch, because in the center is going to be his tie. tie. And in the tie, to draw the tie, you draw an upside down triangle, like so. I'm not so good with it, so I just do And then it. you kind of just go off the page. If you have more of the page, it's a diamond looking figure. So that's his tie. Now to draw the cuffs of the suit, right, because there's those little, what are those called? The little flaps, flappy thingies for the, the shirt. We just make them into wide triangles like so. And the cuffs on his uh, arms. And then he also has a suit jacket sometimes, but we're not going to draw the suit jacket because in this case he doesn't. In this book, he actually is swimming in the ocean, so he has no clothes on. Uh, so there's he's Mr. naked. Shark, and, and, there's Mr. and what's Piranha, the funny thing Mr. is, Snake. Mr. Piranha and Mr. Shark have to go and swim in the water, but Mr. Piranha is a freshwater fish, fish, but Mr. Shark isn't. He he can actually swim in that water. In salt water. So, yes, but he he makes himself look like a goldfish. No, no, a narwhal. No, a dolphin. He makes himself look like a dolphin. But he actually looks like narwhal. Yes, he looks like a unicorn. Yes. And Mr. Piranha says, I don't know what you are. And he's like, oh, wait, let me adjust it. And then he's like, and then he's like, oh, you're a dolphin. And, and I'm like, no, you're, you're narwhal. <laughs> <laughs> he's the funniest thing. And they make him, actually, he makes him look like um, goldfish. With bikini, right? Yeah. Make him wear a bikini. Alright, um, so the next step is we need Legs, who is a spider. I don't have a picture of Legs. Let's see if I can find a picture of Legs. In this book, Legs. So this is Mr. Legs. Don't get any marker on my book. <laughs> I'm not getting any marker on your book. So he's really just like a big head with some legs sticking out of him. We are just going to draw the big head with a whole bunch of eyeballs on it. So In this book he wears sunglasses. Yeah, in this book he's a pilot, so we wear sunglasses. We are going to draw a big head, well, yeah, a big head next to Mr. Piranha with a whole bunch of eyeballs sticking out of it. So how many eyeballs does... Um, eight, but I'm drawing one, two, three, four, five, six, because I don't have a big enough head. See, my head's a little bit big. Yeah, I'm drawing six because he has two eyeballs that come out of the side of his head to make the eight. If you look, here's Mr. Legs. And how many legs does Legs have? How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Yes. <laughs> does he have eight? No. No, not in the book he doesn't. Um, Mr. Legs only has six legs. Yes. All right, so we're going to draw six legs coming out of him. So that is one, two, six, three, four. He's behind Mr. Piranha. Five, six. So now we have six legs coming out of Mr. Legs. 
And he has his little mouth with his two fangs. Yeah, I gotta draw the fangs on his mouth because he has his mouth open. And, and he always has scared. a hat. And he's scared because he works on the computers all the time and he's always getting into trouble. Right? He's wear He always wears his hat. Don't forget his hat. I can't draw a hat on him. You drew a hat on him? You want me to draw his hat? Alright, so we're gonna draw a baseball hat on him because he always wears a hat. So there is his He always wears a hat. He's a little Don't forget Mr. Wolf. I know, and the biggest and the bestest character in all of them, because he is the funniest <laughs> character in my opinion, is Mr. Wolf. And he, the reason they're called bad guys is because they have over a hundred, maybe more than a thousand cases that they've done. And he wants to be a good guy, and every time he does something good, it's really something bad. It always turns out horrible, right? Yeah. He decides he's going to rescue all the chickens out of that horrible chicken farm. And it turns out that the owner of the chicken farm is actually a very evil, bad scientist. Which turns out horrible for them because now they have an evil, mad scientist chasing after them. <laughs> and then Mr. Shark is a great white. I would highly recommend these books. They are very funny. Whether you're a kid or an adult, they're very funny. Yes, but my um, cousin, uh, Stephanie... She could read these books in about five minutes, and, and she, she'd be laughing almost the whole time. Yes. All right, so last character, last but not least, is Mr. Wolf. And Mr. Wolf is always in trouble, too. So he always looks like he's screaming or yelling. But we are going to draw Mr. Wolf with a smiley face, I think. So for Mr. Wolf, we have to draw at least one of his eyeballs first, because he has really big eyes. So we're going to draw one big eyeball. And then you take a line that goes down the center and up, like so. So it kind of looks like an eyeball with a tail. And then we come back down, like so, for his nose. His nose is kind of... It's a dog's nose. And then we got to add the tip of the nose, so we're going to add a little triangle on the top. And then we're going to add his other eyeball on the other side, so we're going to add a circle to behind the eye, that. And we're going to add the little dot for his eye. Now we're going to add his ears, which go behind this eyeball. So you're going to go up and down a triangle there for one ear. And then we're going to go up and down over here like that. So now he has two ears. Now Mr. Wolf has poofy cheeks. So we're going to kind of make little zigzags to give him his poofy cheeks. I, I can't do that because so. they're usually around here, all of his zigzags, but that's what's off the page. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go about halfway down that nose. We're going to come back around and bring his head down like that. Now, Mr. Wolf also wears a tie. A tie. But I can't really draw it, so he's kind so of behind legs. We're just going to draw the, his shoulder. So we're going to draw a line diagonally down like, and then like straight Mr. down. Mr. Wolf's like in between all of them. Yes, and he's all so. happy. But they're all like, ah, all over the place. <laughs> And then we're going to give him his little flappy for his shirt, right? Like so. So we're going to need a little triangle. I don't know if you can see it. And then we're going to give him his tie, which is behind Piranha. So we just colored in a little triangle over there. So that's his tie. So now we have all of the main characters. We have Mr. Wolf, Mr. Piranha, Legs, Snake, Wait, we forgot somebody and Sharky. Every single book, Mom. Ooh. Oh, I'm not adding the reporter. Um, She's an so these are all of the main though. characters of the book. So for each book, we try and make a bookmark, which explains all of the main characters in the book. Funny faces, um, if they make a lot of funny faces. If it's just like a poetry book or something like that, or if it's a mythology book, like we're reading a book on mythology also. Um, we're going to draw probably one with Zeus on him, because Ariana learned all about Zeus. And we are going to color these in and then we will laminate them so to laminate it you get packaging tape and you put the packaging tape on the front and the packaging tape on the back and you stick it together after we color it in we will show you you want to run upstairs and grab the actually we're not going to show you i will post another separate video on how to laminate because this is going to take a while to color in 
Um, and then I have to go and find the packaging tape because I have no idea where it is. So the Bad Guys books are in black and white, so we're just going to kind of use our imagination for colors. Like, I always pictured Mr. Legs as purple, so I'm going to color my name purple. So what's something funny that happens in the Bad Guys? They always get caught. Yes, they always get caught. How about um, Mr. Wolf's car? Do you like Mr. Wolf's car? Yeah, Legs built it when they were on one of their missions, and they forgot that Legs was even in his in the car, and they the, 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 he built them a whole new car. <laughs> and the car looked like it, it, it was like it was uh, really awesome. And I was like, huh? I thought Legs was in this mission, huh? What happened? And it, it's really funny when they go on missions. You can't really always tell if one of them is always going to be exploding. Because <laughs> in the second one, in the third one, right, Mr. Legs um, went into this marmalade place and they always they got caught and legs was outside ex almost ex exploded in a car and he did right because Mr. Mommelie attacked him and tried to blow him up yes but Mr. Piranha what didn't really wasn't really there he was going to the bathroom yes because he gets motion sickness right yes <laughs> and it was funny Right, so what is Mr. Shark's specialty? Um, his specialty is he's the master of um, disguises. Yeah, because he always dresses up as something funny, right? In the dog pound one. No, the chicken. No, the dog pound. I don't remember the dog pound. The dog pound, when they go to save the dogs in the dog pound one, they, um, Mr. Shark, Dresses up as a little lady. <laughs> yeah, he dresses up as the lady. I don't remember that one. That was the first part of the first book. Oh, okay. And they dress up, he dresses up as a little lady. And it was the funniest thing because he actually looked like a human and the monkey let him pass. And it was the funniest thing. He's the master at disguise. And in this one, he decides to dress up as a dog. A dolphin. I'll show you. Okay, here. Here, here. See, see. <laughs> he's a dolphin. But he's actually not a dolphin. He looks like normal. Seriously, he looks like normal. Okay. So, like I said, these are really fun to do. Um, and as you can tell, we get a little over and do's sometimes about them. And especially depending on the book and how much we like the book. But you do it based on the book. So we've done Pete the Cat ones with Pete the Cat, um, and we've gone over some of the stories while we're coloring them in and talked about the different characters. This one is based on the Bad Guys book, which we've showed you. Um, it's loads of fun. It's a very funny book. Um, the age group is from 5 to about, I'd say probably 9 to 10 for... Um, the bad guys. Um, they're funny, they're short, but they are chapter books, but they are very, very funny. So definitely take a look into them if you want. And make your little bookmark based on your things. It's a great time to just sit down and talk about a book, right? Yep. When you're stuck at home. Yep. And you're stuck at home and you complete your homework way too fast. Like someone I know who's already done with it all and we got up late. Um, so... <laughs> Definitely have some fun with them. Make them based on whatever book you're reading. Um, I'm going to finish coloring it and see if I could find. And then I will post on how to laminate them. Maybe we'll show you at, on the 2 o'clock class or in a little while. And we could show you how to laminate it so this way it doesn't get all damaged. And what else? You know what I think? I think Mr. Wolf's great. You think he's gray? Okay, so make him gray. Um, Even though it's in black and white, on the covers they always show some things in color, like 
whatever they're defeating, like this, and they always do the backward. Zombie kittens. Yes, the zombie kittens are green, but in the book they aren't green, they are gray, because <laughs> it's a black and white book. Um, they're really funny. I love these books. Also, you have to do Bad Kitty. Bad Kitties are really funny, too. Yes, Bad Kitty's also very funny. The main character in that, I would guess who it is. Um, and uh, here is the next one. They're going into space in the next one. Uh-oh. In the next one, they go into space. I've never read the next one. But it, it, That's when you didn't finish this one. I'm scared. Every time I read this book, I always get nightmares. But I don't. Not almost, always. almost every time. <laughs> but the, she had she read it all day yesterday. We read three chapters of it, or two chapters of it, and she didn't have any nightmares. Um, they are very funny though. They are not scary at all. It's like a comedy. All right, guys. So. The only thing left that I have to color in is the piranha, and then I honestly have no idea what color piranhas are, so I'm just going to kind of go with it, and he's always sick, so I think I'm going to make him green, because he is always getting sick somehow in the books. He's like the sick guy of the group. And in this one, Mr. Snake is not very nice. He calls him the salt water flower because he's a uh, not a salt water flower the fresh water flower because he is a fresh water fish and a fresh water fish is different to a salt water so the snake wasn't that very nice but in the end he actually makes it to the island i guess because they because there's another book and if there wasn't another book they wouldn't win it <laughs> Alright guys, so here is our little bookmark for the bad guys. I'm going to write the bad guys on, in the background where I can fit it. Um, and this is going to be the bookmark for the bad guys. So we're going to write the... So I have a bookmark for the book the bad guys. We wrote the bad guys. And here we go. Can I show them mine before we yep. get off? So let me show you Ariana's. This is how far she got. However, she will finish it before we start doing a little bit more schoolwork. She has some reading to do. Um, but she finished all her other stuff. So she did the front in pink, and she glued a blue piece of paper in the back for it to be even stronger. And now she has a bookmark for her book. She's going to write the bad guys on it as well, so this way we know it's for the bad guys. And we now have bookmarks. Like you said, they don't have to be for the, they don't have to be the bad guys. Make them for whatever book you actually, actually are reading. Um, we have one for Peep the Cat, we have one for Dr. Seuss, um, yeah, have fun with it, enjoy, and have a wonderful rest of your day, we will be online later, we are going to be drawing a little bird, I believe, Ayanna is going to draw it out after she's done with her bookmark. It's the cutest thing in the world! Day. Say bye.